Within the high school jazz band are smaller groups like quartets and trios. One trio, named Funk Monk, is a group of musicians who enjoy playing together not only in school, but they've also played Porch Fest. And from that experience, the music program is working to get them to perform out in the community more. The trio enables the musicians to grow through experimentation. So the jazz trio, it allows them to open up a little bit more. They learn a lot of new repertoire as far as jazz standards go. Um, but they also play, you know, like rock and funk and some Latin music. And, uh, and it opens up a lot for improvisation, but also for their creativity. I can kind of, you know, give them guidelines, but I really want them to discover them, to listen to recordings and say, okay, how can we do that in our group? What can we do? Or what can we do different with this song? Or can we make an arrangement of this song? Something like that. Basically, the, the idea started way back when uh, in like Porch Fest, I think it was like 2019, something around there, right before COVID hit. And we just got the idea to play Porch Fest one year just because we were bored and we wanted to do something more than just music in our school. So we, we mostly, Ted created like a little garage band, if you will. We played in his garage for a few weeks leading up to Porch Fest and then we played Porch Fest and it, it kind of just stuck from there on. The more you play with someone, the more you know they're, they're kind of tactics almost when approaching just even a jazz standard. How they play, you can, especially with the rhythm section, the bass and the drums, they kind of just kind of gel together and really create like a pocket in a sense, in a musical term. And then since I'm, I'm a lead with the saxophone or background, whatever, like it kind of, it just helps to be able to know who you're playing with, especially for playing like a long time with a specific group of people. It's, I think it's the type of drumming that I know the least about and that I feel like I have the most area to grow in. Um, it's very different than, than everything else. Um, jazz uh, uh, kind of takes place over, over triplets, um, which gives it a, a totally different feel to like regular straight eighth um, music. We like to get together and play uh, every so often and um, just kind of jam, jam around. We're not too serious, but um, we like to get together and have fun. The coolest part about the trio is mostly the fact that it's like super fluid. Nothing about it is hardcore in any sense. We, when we can meet up, we meet up. We just like playing music together. Helps that Augie's my brother, so we're kind of always bouncing new ideas off each other. And Ted doesn't live too far, so we can all just like hop in and go to his house and play it in his garage. We play songs that we all like, and then we also like, like to put our own spin on different things. So with, with the trio especially, it's really nice because we've been playing together for so long that we kind of, know how everybody works. Like sometimes Ted isn't gonna go for the big brash solo, which leaves me more space to like play something really up high and like down the neck and I can mess around with stuff there and Augie's gonna be super lyrical and I can be a little bit more choppy underneath, so. We decided to have them, uh, you know, take what they did to Porch Fest and try to expand it. And we're gonna try to get out to some other schools, some elementary schools, some middle schools and you know, let the students know there what's going on here and some of their musical opportunities. And it's easier than taking, you know, 70 kids from band. You can just take three, three students.